Hey y'all, um, today we're going to do step two or video number two um, with the flip flops. Um, and the ones we're going to do today are pretty much geared more toward women. I guess little girls could wear them too, but um, you know, they're um, I think just a little bit more mature looking or whatever. <laughs> it's amazing what you can do with a pair of flip flops. You can really dress them up and put rhinestones and you know fancy bows or whatever. Okay so we're going to work on two pair today um, and I just have to say in the last video I apologize so much for the annoying uh, clearing of my throat constantly. I've just had a bout of sinus issues so I'll probably do it in this video too, but as I was watching it, I didn't realize how annoying it was. Anyway, that's the reason for it, and I do apologize. Um, but anyway, for this video, uh, the first one I want to show you is another uh, flip-flop with the braided ribbon. Okay, and this time we're using the 3 8 um, in the previous video, I used uh, a fourth of an inch, and in this I'm doing three-eighths, okay? And what's different about this one is <coughs> our bow or embellishment or whatever is going to go on the side, okay? So, um, this is our first pair, okay? <coughs> and this is the second pair, real pretty aqua blue and pink uh, with the satin ribbon, and there's uh, uh, the satin roses in the middle there on the side uh, with the you know the little pink rhinestone in the middle and then I've also glued rhinestones on you know the strap of the flip-flop here okay so these are the two we're gonna work on today <clears throat> okay and we'll start with this one first I've already um, attached the braided piece um, and if you didn't watch the first video uh, the one before this I believe it's tutorial number 14 um, we did some kids flip-flops and I attached uh, you know the braided piece and you may want to watch that one and if you don't know how to do the braid I'll leave the link to the video where I covered um, the skill on how to do this Okay, now one thing I want to point out is um, in the other video I actually wrapped the rubber piece first before putting the braid on because then I could just simply um, <clears throat> glue it with hot glue. Okay, um, but I couldn't find a ribbon that I liked um, to wrap this rubber piece, the strap in. So I did actually have to put it on without wrapping it first. And as I said, if you do that, it's fine, but you have to use the E6000 glue, okay? Um, now, before um, we talk about what we have to do, I'll just go through the, the supplies here. Um, for the first pair, of course, you need to get your two coordinating ribbons and, you know, your flip-flop. Um, this flip-flop came from Walmart. I don't know. It was three forty-seven, something like that. Uh, this is a size 7-8 <clears throat> women's. Um, very pretty. Um, I think pretty well made and, and sturdy, durable. Um, your ribbon, as I said, it's a 3 8 uh, inch. The ribbon uh, came from two different places. Ribbon Retreat is where I got the Sparkle Grow Grain, and I've mentioned it before. There are several different places to get that. And then the uh, the uh, Foil Swirl uh, Brown, um, that came from uh, a website called Ribbon Queen, and I will leave both links. Um, lots of different gorgeous colors in uh, both of those. Okay, now again it's hard for me to give you a length of the ribbon because with each different size flip-flop um, you're going to require a different size 
uh, or a different length um, to cut your ribbon. So you just kind of have to do it off the roll until you figure out what length you need. But if you are doing um, a size 7, 8 women's, um, I cut 45 inches uh, for both of these. So that's, you know, that was my measurement by the time I got through, um, you know, doing the braid on this one. Okay, then I, of course, um, put the E6000 on the strap. And as I was doing it, I just got the, um, you know, I kind of did it a, a few inches at a time. And then I got my clothespins and put them all over, um, you know, to hold it in place. Because you do have to wait for it to dry. And I put my flip-flop in front of a table fan for about 15 minutes. And then I just took the, you know, the clothespins off and then waited for it to dry overnight. Um, so that's, you know, that's an option or you can just leave the clothespins on overnight. But I would recommend that if you are just, you, you know, you don't, if you don't wrap your, your strap uh, and you're using E6000 only, you know, be, you better get some type of clip, you know, or, or a clothespin uh, to, you know, to keep it on there. Okay, so um, that is the first step here. And the second step is, you know, relatively easy. And you can do um, anything to... Um, decorate. You could simply leave it like this. You could put some, you know, big type of, uh, you know, embellishment right here, rhinestone. Uh, you know, I know this doesn't match, but, you know, you can put the flowers, which we're going to do in, in the next video, or in the next uh, flip-flop. And, um, you know, you could put little, um, you know, glue rhinestones on, you know, the ribbon like we did on the headbands for this you know, whatever you want to do, okay, but um, this just really makes, and it's hard to see probably uh, how much, you know, the ribbon sparkles and, and shines, um, you know, it's, the uh, video doesn't do it justice, but anyway, um, other supplies for this, um, if you're going to put a bow, I uh, got this gold, uh, it's a wired ribbon, so you, you know, want to remove the, the, um, wires and this is about a six and a half inch piece of uh, one and a half inch width the ribbon this ribbon I got from Hobby Lobby okay it's just a metallic gold ribbon you could use a glitter ribbon you can use anything you want um, and then you just need a we're just gonna make a tuxedo bow and you just need a piece of coordinating uh, ribbon to go around the middle <clears throat> okay and um, just um, to finish covering the um, materials, uh, you for the next flip flop, we're doing flowers. So, and I did wrap the straps in uh, satin ribbon. So you'll want to get some three eight satin ribbon. Um, this one came from Hairbo Center. Um, this is just a three eight uh, pink satin. And I've got my two flowers here that came from uh, Hairbow Supplies. I'm, I, I buy from everybody, <laughs> it seems like. Um, if you're, you're doing rhinestones, uh, this Jewelit works the best. And then, I, you know, my rhinestones came from Walmart, little small ones. Uh, I have a rhinestone pencil that makes it easy to pick the rhinestones up. And this came from Rockin' Resin, and I'll leave the link for that. And then I've got some various um, embellishments here. You know, I just want to show you what you can add to it. And then, of course, scissors, glue. You might need a, you know, a clip to hold something. You know, the lighter, um, your glue gun. You know, and then E6000, um, possibly depending on what you, you know, want to embellish with. Okay, so back to the first flip flop. You want to cut your um, piece here to, you know, I mean, it depends if you want a little bit bigger bow. Um, I wouldn't advise going too big with the bow because then you're going to cover up that whole, you know, side of that flip flop. <coughs> All right, so this is six and a half inches, and you know, you, you just basically what I do is try to get my center point here. I just fold it in half and then I fold it and overlap past the mid you know, the midpoint a little bit, 
and same here okay so I've got uh, that's all I have and then if you want to uh, get the salon clip and uh, you know do the needle and thread you can do that oh and that is something that you do need is uh, the uh, needle and thread um, or you know if you just want to wrap it with some string that's fine too but basically with the tuxedo bow um, I bend mine in the middle you know like that and then just push each side down okay and that's you know basically the tuxedo, tuxedo bow is pretty much to me the easiest okay you just kind of scrunch it in the middle and then <clears throat> And there I go clearing my throat. Oops. All right, let me redo this. And this ribbon is a little slippery, so it slips out pretty easy. Okay, so I just take my needle and thread and run it through the side. Clip off that little piece. And then you just, of course, wrap it around the middle and pull it to crease it. Okay, and then that's, you know, what you should have. <clears throat> and then you want to just tie it off in the back. that off okay and that's about what you should have there's all kinds of little metallic ribbons um, I mean you certainly don't have to do a golden brown you know you want to get whatever's going to match your flip-flop okay um, <clears throat> and then you know we just want to glue this this little 3 8 piece around the middle Okay, so I'm going to take it and glue it in the back. And then wrap around the center. I've got glue hanging. All right, so you're just gonna wrap it around the center. I'm going to cut off the excess, get my lighter, got glue hanging everywhere. Okay, get your lighter, heat seal that piece, and then glue it down. Okay, and then that's basically what you have. Um, you know, if you want to wrap the middle in rhinestones or put a big rhinestone there or anything you want to do uh, to add to it, you know, hey, go with it. Um, use your imagination. And then basically, we're just going to take our flip flop and, and uh, glue our bow on. So I'm just going to grab my other one because you want to make sure. You know, they're, they're in the, the same place, and I need to move this one down a little bit. And, you know, you certainly don't have to go with a side um, embellishment. You know, you can put it in the middle. You could put it on this side. You know, whatever you want to do. Okay, so I'm just going to put a little glue. You don't need much center and that is it now we went through that rather quickly but that's because I had already done the braiding and I had already you know glued the braid on um, it does take a while to make a pair like this when you know whenever you're um, doing all the braiding and then waiting for it to dry and that kind of stuff um, but it's you know it's very much worth it and it actually makes um, a really unique um, gift, you know, and certainly, um, 
you know, for little girls, you can match their hair bow with their flip-flop or whatever. Okay, um, so that is the first one. Okay. Now, the second one, again, looks like this. Very elegant. Um, and I guess there's something now called like a bridal flip-flop. Um, not sure what that's all about, but anyway, um, I think, you know, they're... I don't know if the whole bridal party or, you know, whatever um, wears these. I didn't really research it, but, you know, I just saw that there were, like, bridal flip-flops. You know, they're done in ivory or white um, with the flowers. <clears throat> okay, so I want to start with the wrapping. And it takes a little while to wrap it, so I've already wrapped this piece um, on the second flip-flop. But just to kind of demonstrate... I've got this little bitty tiny one here. I think this is a, is it a 5-6? I think so. This is like a, a real tiny one, and it has the strap, um, you know, and you can certainly do flip-flops this small. I've made, you know, quite a few of them. Anyway, I'm going to push this strap up, and just to show you, um, actually, I'm going to get a, uh, and okay to uh, just to talk about the measurement on this one um, this again is a 7 8 uh, 7 8 uh, size women's flip-flop I um, estimate I used about 50 inches or so um, on uh, you know wrapping this uh, but you want to make sure because your wrap might be tighter than mine or whatever and I also want to say that you want to try to do as neat of a job as you possibly can when wrapping, uh, you know, when you're when the wrap is going to show. You don't want too many bumps or whatever, okay? You want to do a very neat job, um, whereas, you know, the, the video I did yesterday, um, or a couple days ago, rather, I told you you didn't have to be real neat with it because it was going to be covered up. <clears throat> but if it's going to show, you want it to, you know, try not to have too many bumps or whatever. <clears throat> Okay, and you know, just to show you when you're starting, I always start on the right hand side, it really doesn't matter. You know, you just want to heat seal um, your piece here, and really, 3 8 ribbon is the best to go with. Um, basically, you want to start down here, and you're going to wrap the piece completely around. And I hope you can see this. You're going to go as far down on the rubber piece as you possibly can. Okay. And basically, you would put a little bit of glue right there. And then simply glue the two pieces of ribbon together. So that, you know, the glue is its not actually being glued to the rubber piece. Okay, you, you start out gluing the ribbons together, okay, if that makes sense. Okay, and then just like I showed you in the other video, you just go, um, you know, you keep going around and, and wrapping it around and around, and, you know, and when you get to this side down here, you want to do the same thing. You want to cover up as much of the rubber piece as possible, and, and you know, you cut it, heat seal it, and try to glue it down here to where you can't see it. Okay, so you're going to glue one piece to the other rather than um, on the, the rubber piece, the, the strap, if that makes sense. Because hot glue really doesn't hold anything to those rubber straps. Not at all. Okay. Now, <clears throat> the next step is um, putting the flowers on. Okay. And, you know, you just want to make sure, once again, that you get the same position. And because, <clears throat> you know, this is fabric, you know, satin or whatever, you can use the hot glue on here. Okay, and so you just kind of place them, you know, in the same spot. And I had my pink, uh, my pink rose first. Okay, so. All right, I'm going to put... You want to, you know, try not to put too much glue. There are my ding-dong dogs. 
Okay, so you want to glue that first piece. And again, you want to make sure you get it in the same spot on both of your uh, flip flops. Okay. All right, and then you're going to glue this piece right next to it. And you can put it directly on the flip flop or you can put it on the rose, on the flower, doesn't matter. You can use E6000, but um, hot glue will work just fine. You just want to make sure they're glued on well. Okay. And I'm just kind of pushing them down and making sure that the glue soaks through. And I actually need to put a little bit more. Now, if you want to get a felt piece and stick it on, you know, on the other side, on the back side, you can do that. You don't have to. Really shouldn't be any discomfort or, you know, glue sticking out, but, you know, again, it's totally up to you. Okay. And of course, you want to compare, you know, again, make sure you have um, even sides. Okay, now um, what I want to do first before we uh, do the, the final embellishment is um, to glue on our rhinestones. And you can put rhinestones or you can put uh, pearls or what, you know, flat back pearls. Um, so this is what I use, you know, to glue on the gems. And basically, I just... I really don't have a specific pattern. Um, I just uh, put, you know, a few dots of glue here and there. Oops, I'm out of camera range. See, I'm just, you know, putting my dots wherever. That's the easiest way to do it, in my opinion, is just go ahead and put your glue dots Space them out a little bit. <clears throat> or if you have a specific, specific pattern you want to follow, that's fine too. And you don't have to go all the way down, of course, you know, just to where, um, you know, it's still visible. <clears throat> okay. So, it's okay, Brownie. And then I'm going to go ahead and put a few on the other side, even though there's not much space. Oh, my dogs are worked up for some reason. <clears throat> okay, and then you want to get um, your rhinestones. And I, you know, I love this little pencil. Okay. And then I simply, I mean, it just picks it up for you and it just makes it so easy, you know, because you're dealing with, uh, you know, small rhinestones here and I can't pick them up very well and I have trouble picking them up even with tweezers. Just love this little pencil. Okay, and so I'm just going to continue to add my rhinestones to the flip-flops and you know decorating flip-flops it, it just takes a little while it's not something you're gonna do in five minutes but it's really worth it you know especially if you custom make your own certainly nobody else is gonna have the same thing you have hopefully I'm just gonna finish. 
finish up. I just have a few more to do. That just adds a nice elegant little touch to it you know if you want to do that or you could do just like a cluster at the top or something you know just uh, use your imagination with that okay and the last step would be um, if you want it certainly looks good just like this um, but I am putting you know a, a, an embellishment here usually and the one that I picked was this you know this pink uh, rhinestone um, but I just want to show you some of the others like um, and this one's quite a bit larger but like here's a Minnie Mouse with the pink bow um, you know I found these on um, Etsy shops you know different excuse me different ones um, you know if you are going to Disney World then um, you know, I mean, that is gorgeous. You know, and it's it really it's not too heavy. It's kind of hard to see because it's clear. Um, another one that is my absolute favorite, if y'all can see this, um, is the little rhinestone crown. They have these all over Etsy. Um, ribbons and bows, oh my, I believe, started carrying some. Uh, you know, they're, they're not hard to find. Here is another piece. It's called, uh, it, you know, it just says Princess. And, <clears throat> you know, you could just simply glue it across there like that. Um, or, if, you know, if you just, oops, if you want to get, I know this doesn't match, but <clears throat> if you want to get one of those sequin bows, and just glue across there or you know whatever um, my suggestion though well what you could do you could uh, glue a, a um, piece of felt on the back and then hot glue it I just decided to go ahead and glue uh, you know use the E6000 to glue it alright and uh, I'm gonna go from one end to the other just a line down the middle okay you don't need to go across the whole back of it because it's you know it's just going to be touching right there in the middle okay and then you just simply have to let it dry just smash it in there um you know they typically don't stay you know metal it's kind of like the rubber you know they typically don't stay with just hot glue and there you have it um, very pretty you know it's, oh the, the possibilities are endless definitely anyway that's our tutorial for today um, next tutorial I'll probably get back to hair bows but um, before I close just want to um, also again mention our next giveaway um, I still haven't heard from the person that won the first giveaway. Uh, but anyway, and this giveaway is for May um, 2016, in case somebody's watching this a year from now. Um, uh, the next giveaway is a Facebook giveaway, or what you have to do um, is post a bow, a uh, pair of flip-flops, any uh, do-it-yourself craft. It could be a wreath that you did for your door. Um, I already had somebody um, that sent me a, a picture of a gorgeous um, purse that she crocheted. Oh man, it's just very talented. Um, because I'm, I, you know, I'd prefer that you send pictures of bows that you've made or you know whatever um, to go along with the tutorials. Uh, but um, if you have not, you know, done that yet, any kind of craft that you've done will do. And all you have to do is post the picture on my Facebook um, Big Southern Bows and I'll leave the link and then your name then will be entered in a drawing for the next giveaway 
and the prize for the next giveaway is a bow or a pair of flip-flops of your choice provided I have you know the supplies so that's it um, I eagerly await uh, what you know the stuff that you guys are gonna post hopefully I'll get some more soon and we'll have another giveaway and I really appreciate all the support lately you guys have been so super sweet with your comments and you know again I know these uh, videos aren't flashy and edited and you know they're they're basically for educational value and not for entertainment so um, I appreciate your patience with me um, Y'all have a good day and give me a thumbs up and until the next tutorial. Thanks so much. Bye